smartphones which have more than one camera on the back. So, which was the smart, uh, which was the first smartphone company to come up with a phone with a dual camera? That was uh, any guesses? Yes, it was Samsung. Samsung was the first company to come up, uh, come up with a phone. But sadly, it was not a smartphone. They came up with a uh, phone which had the dual camera on the back, and it was a flip phone. And it was launched back in the 2007, just before the launch of the original iPhone series. But the cameras on the back were used to uh, capture 3D photo and 3D videos. So, but uh, nowadays the implementation of the cameras have been changed and I will talk about that later. So HTC and uh, LG also followed the path and they also launched a dual camera uh, smartphone. They were, uh, HTC were first to come up with a smartphone uh, which has the dual cameras. Samsung was first to launch a phone with dual camera, HTC was the first company to come up with a phone which has a phone which is a smartphone with dual cameras. So HTC uh, came up with uh, HTC Evo 3D and LG came up with LG Optimus 3D. But those phones didn't succeed in the market uh, and uh, the, uh, the dual camera trend was uh, forgotten. After that, uh, but HTC revived the trend with HTC One M8 and HTC One M9 Plus. The implementation of uh, the dual cameras were, were just to uh, give you a better depth of field effect. Um, later, the modernization of dual camera smartphone began with LG. It launched LG G5 and LG G5 has both cameras and one camera was the main sensor for taking normal images and the second camera was to uh, capture ultra wide angle images. And uh, Huawei, Huawei, just after that Huawei also launched a dual camera smartphones called Huawei P9 or, and P9 Plus. Huawei P9 and P9 Plus also had the dual cameras. The, uh, the implementation of the dual cameras was to uh, capture a better image. Uh, one of the sensors just captured uh, captures the uh, RGB image or what you could say the red, green and black image and the second uh, is a monochrome sensor. It just captures a uh, black and white image. Both the, uh, with combining both the images, the uh, um, Huawei just provided provides a better image in the uh, Huawei P9 and P9 Plus. But then also LG launched another phone with uh, uh, dual cameras that, that has the same implementation uh, like LG G5 uh, and the smartphone watch G6. It was really a good smartphone. Even I uh, have the LG G6 and. Uh, then the uh, then there there <coughs> then Apple joins the game and Apple was the company who really made the dual camera uh, smartphones uh, really popular and nowadays it is an inevitable part of our smartphones even and if it is an Android phone or it is an Apple's iPhone. So uh, Apple's iPhone 7 Plus first had the dual camera on its on its back. After that many phones were launched and nowadays also there are many phones which are launching with dual cameras or even triple cameras. But uh, uh, the uh, company which really made it popular was Apple. Then now I come to the uh, three cameras which was the first company to launch a uh, smartphone with three cameras it was Huawei. Huawei launched the uh, P20 Pro with three cameras uh, and the implementation of the cameras were little different. I am telling you the uh, implementation of the Huawei uh, P20 Pro. It has a 20 megapixel uh, monochrome sensor which captures the black and white image and a 40 megapixel RGB sensor uh, and a 8 megapixel telephoto lens. And now I tell you the, about the telephoto lens. Uh, telephoto lens basically uh, zooms your photo a lot and it uh, gives you a uh, uh, zoomed effect in your photo. 
Huawei is the first company to launch a smartphone with three cameras. HTC uh, was the first smartphone company to launch a smartphone with two cameras and Huawei this time exceeds all other company by launching a three camera smartphone. And the smartphone watch Huawei P20 Pro. It had the three cameras, one of them was 20 megapixel uh, and it is a mono, it was a monochrome sensor and the second one is 40 megapixel, it is a, it was a RGB sensor and uh, uh, third one is 8 megapixel and it was a telephoto lens. So what is a telephoto lens? Telephoto lens uh, just uh, makes you zoom better on the uh, objects and uh, it, uh, it does the zoom with uh, optic, it zooms optically and give you a uh, better image of the, of the objects which are uh, not near you. So uh, then LG also followed Huawei and launched a uh, smartphone with uh, three cameras. It is LG P40 Plus NQ or what you say LG P40. Uh, one of the first camera uh, uh, is 12 megapixel and it is, a, it is the main sensor and second one is also 12 megapixel. It is a telephoto lens. I already told, them, told you about the telephoto lens and the third one is 16 megapixel with the which is an ultra wide angle camera. So ultra wide angle cameras just uh, gives you a better uh, perspective of uh, the image what you are ca capturing and it just uh, it, it is also to uh, widely capture the image. So uh, now let's come to the uh, Samsung. Samsung has now recently launched uh, two phones, uh, one with three cameras and one with four cameras. The A7 of 2018 has the three cameras and the A9 of 2018 has the four cameras. So the A7 has a 24 megapixel uh, f1.7 aperture the main camera and the second camera is 8 megapixel with f1.2.4 aperture and it is an ultra wide angle camera and the third camera is 5 megapixel with f2.2 aperture. It is just for the depth sensing and to give you a better bokeh image. And the second phone uh, is the A Samsung Galaxy A9, uh, A9 of 2018. It has a uh, 8 megapixel uh, camera with f2.4 aperture and 120 degree field of view. Actually, it is a wide angle camera. The second one is 10 megapixel with f2.4 aperture and it, uh, it, it can uh, optically zoom up to uh, 2x. And so basically, it is a telephoto lens. And the third camera is of 20 megapixel with aperture of f1.7 and it is the main camera and the fourth camera is 5 megapixel with f2.2 and it, it is just to provide you a better depth of field and what you say a better bokeh effect. So uh, up to now we have seen a smartphone with given four cameras. I don't know who had the game stops. I think there will be also some other smartphones which will launch with more than even four cameras. I don't know where the game stops and uh, really. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if it provides a better image, then uh, okay, I will. I am okay with that with uh, more than one camera. But uh, you have to know that just having a dual camera or more than one camera doesn't give you the better image. It all depends on the um, aperture and the uh, ISO and other things that and how the sensor works in your smartphone. Even uh, it's smart Google Pixel and Google Pixel 2 XL or has the had the was only single camera on the back, but it really provides a uh, good image even from some other dual camera smartphones. And it it, it, it is pro providing some better bokeh effect uh, rather than the other dual camera smartphones. So you have to just be careful and uh, just uh, you have to just know what is the sensor and how the uh, what is the implementation of both the cameras. Uh, so now let me know what you think about the dual camera smartphones or even if your phone has three cameras or four cameras. So let me know in the comment sections below. Also, uh, if your camera, if your phone has more than one camera, comment below the model number if you uh, want to know what is the implementation of the. Uh, dual camera you if you already know this uh, also let me know in the comments below and uh, that's it for now stay technically updated on the go with your own channel gadgets go it's time i bid you adieu